Hey all you Zelda and Zerglings, it's time for another 3 versus 3 with the Mad Hive. We are on the map Arakan Citadel. And I have spawned as the Teal Zerg. And with me is Contrarian the Red Protoss. And Spartan the Blue Protoss. Our opponents are Adam's Curie, the Yellow Protoss. Snake! The purple Protoss. And GTG soon. The orange Zerg. GTG soon. Interesting. I wonder what the meaning behind that is. Anyhow, the map is Arakan Citadel. It's a map I absolutely hate. I always, always, always lose on this map. And, like, we have these easily to defend expansions, but they got the rocks that you have to knock down. I mean, he has a free watchtower. And there are two ways into your base, and you're usually defending the wrong one. And and there's a narrow kind of choke here, which is where most of the movement goes. But there's a lot of paths around the outside that you have to worry about. I don't know. I just have really terrible ex success on this map. And going up for an early pool, because actually we had decided we wanted to rush this game. So we're going to get some early uh, early excitement that we don't usually see, because uh, this is going to be uh, going to be a rush. So I'm going to be working on, actually I'm going to be working on some fast roaches. We got two gate from Spartan, definitely a good thing when you're doing a rush. And Contrarian also with the two gate, so definitely getting ready for a big rush here getting any overlords out of the map because I figure ah we're rushing we'll either end early or we're j or we'll either end it early or we're just gonna die which I guess would also kind of end it early wouldn't it what do we got from Adam's Curie nothing too atypical yet just building off a standard wall kind of kind of closing off that choke and we got over here double gateway from Snake the Protoss here and is this going to get annoying every time I talk about Snake? Probably. And we do have the pull up for GTG soon, getting his Zergling speed up. And they got nothing defending this side, so are we going to hit this side, which is wide open? Or are we going to hit this side, where we've got quite a bit of a wall to take care of right now? A little bit of a crack right there, it looks like, that he is going to fill with his Zealot. And my Roach Warrant is almost complete grabbing some gas and we got to starting to get some zealots out from contrarian he is chrono boosting them out as much as he can and what do we got here we got some early lings here for gtg soon and they're just gonna waltz right in here we do have some zealots here from spartan zealots pretty good against the zerglings and it looks like he's gonna try to force them back no you do not want to engage those zealots i think they've got you well outnumbered Maybe not numbers wise, but they they will kill you. It looks like my roaches have finally popped out. We got some zealots here for contrarian. I think the battle the uh, the rush is about to commence. I mean, what do we got? What do we got right now? We got seven roaches for me, which is kind of what I aim for in this build, and we got twelve zealots. Against uh, one zealot and ten lings. I don't know. This could be pretty good force if we get out on the map before there's a lot of unit pr units produced from our uh, our opponents. Looks like we are getting a roach warren up for GTG soon. And he's taking down these rocks, getting ready for an expansion. We are not yet preparing for this for our own, but we need all our units for an attack right now. Where are we going? Oh, it looks like we are heading for the walled off section. If we'd gone this way, there's nothing to defend right here. Oh, and Adam's Curie is going to have an observer out, so he's going to see it coming, but, you know, it's going to be kind of seeing it coming too late. He's going to try to pump some stalkers out, but the zealots are now here at the front door. And the roach is beside. So this wall is looking pretty vulnerable. I don't think they've got anything to defend this right now. And the Zealot is clear. We are streaming through. Oh, we have an Immortal out, which is not going to do very good against the Zealots, but it's going to be amazing against my Roaches. And he's about to... Oh, we lost a pile on the gateways going down. So the core is going down. The gateways unpowered, and it's going to go down soon. And this pylon is going to be here gone soon after. And some 
some sentries here from Snake. I don't know what that force field's doing. Apparently very little. And they've got to pull back. they got a lot of trouble right now. Pumping out the Immortals. An interesting choice this early. But now my Roaches are out in front. I'm going to get the brunt of those Immortals. We need to get the Zealots on the Zerglings and on, on the Immortals. Another force field. Still not entirely sure what this force field is for. And yeah, now we got some roaches out for GTG soon. It looks like they've cleaned this up completely. Uh, we checked the units lost, and yeah, Am's Curie has lost quite a bit. And I guess it's pretty even for the rest of us. It looks like Contrarian's lost quite a bit too, so he must have more zealots in that battle right now. But it looks like now they've got us uh, pretty well outnumbered, and I think now would be kind of the time to pull back. Just kind of trickling in more units right now. I don't know if this is a good time, and in the meantime, GTG soon has gotten his hatchery started. And ooh, we're getting double upgrades here for Snake and a lot of gateways. They all on cooldown? Oh, you guys ready to warp in some more units there? He's got plenty of money for it. So it does not look like we broke their back with that, but did we do enough damage to Adam's Cure? We didn't do any economic damage, so that might not be good enough. Oh, but he is supply block so he cannot get any he's got one immortal producing right now and now he's getting a second so yeah that, that's uh, he probably lost too many pylons there that's gonna put him a bit behind but is it gonna put him enough behind and here comes another cluster oh this this group is way outnumbered right now and yeah there's gonna just have to abandon they gotta run out of there we check the income right now and how are we doing it looks like I am way behind the harvesters right now my my uh, allies are doing pretty good actually so I don't, I don't know. Maybe we're not in that bad a position right now. Just me. I don't think I've got anything going right now. I mean, I got no lair going up. I got no upgrades going up. Yeah, so I'm probably not in the best position right now. And right now I think we're throwing good units after bad. I think we definitely got to pull out. Especially with these, these immortals here. They got, we got plenty of roaches to counter my roaches. Immortals will just destroy him, and that's basically zealots to take care of everything else. Yeah, that's not going to happen. So it looks like we are now in full retreat. Aggression didn't work. It looks like Spartan's going to take an expansion, though. And it looks like we're going to start trying to bust down our own rocks. But is it going to be too late? Are we behind now, or are, did we do enough damage? We didn't do any economic damage. And uh, obviously, like uh, as I pointed out before, I was not macroing very well during all that. Now just getting up a lair. So I I don't I don't know. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to see what happens. We are good we are gonna finally free up these expansions for us to take. Oh and this is funny. It looks like basically GTG soon is gonna have to take care of this island all himself because he's his creep is basically uh taking over this entire thing. Wow. That seems very poor planning. You basically have to have a, if you have any Zerg on your team, you basically have to have anyone else that wants to expand, expand first before he gets his creep spread out, because it takes up almost this entire island. And there's nothing you, nothing you can do about it, unless you kill a hatchery, so uh, I don't know about that. And oh, we got Snake taking an expansion out here, kind of a risky expansion, but it is kind of across from Spartan's risky expansion. He's transferring some units over there, he needs to transfer some workers over there right now. Yeah, he's got quite a bit. Yeah, he can probably transfer a few of these over there and just keep... Ooh, definitely got a lot of energy on that Nexus. Got to do something about that. Got to use that Chrono Boost up. Like Contrarian is not. He is going Void Rays, which you get a lot of Void Rays out, and we all know how uh, OP Void Rays are. And ooh, a lot of Roaches out for GTG soon. No upgrades on those Roaches, but that's still a lot of Roaches. Is he ready for attack, or is he just going to try to defend this expansion? I don't know. See some movement over here too. That's a that's a pretty scary force too. And one one for Snake. And no upgrades for uh, Adam's Curie, but I'm not surprised because he uh, was put a little bit behind. Just man, he's just going for mass immortals right now, which won't do any good. And if if we get off of Roach Stalker, those immortals will be practically worthless. And oh, it looks like they did try to push out. To Spartan's base, they may have gotten a pylon, but that one, that one zealot's gonna force them back until they realize, uh, guys, that's just, that's one zealot. I don't think there's enough here to, to to fend this off, but now we got a problem right here in our front door. Mass Stalker Immortal, and there is there's nothing here right now to defend this. 
Oh, here's some Void Race Contrarian. Which hopefully we can take out these Immortals, but there's still a ton of Stalkers. And, and we aren't going to get much help from Spartan, who's desperately trying to defend his own expansion right now. And I'm sending some Roaches over, but with all these Immortals, not going to do anything. And they're just going to pound through that Nexus. Oh, wait, no, they got a little bit distracted, but if they just focused that Nexus down, it would be gone by now. Yeah, and Roaches are terrible against Immortals. And Spartans, it looks like both the Spartans' bases are in big trouble right now. That's going to put him way behind. And these Void Rays are trying to do what they can. But, you know, with these Immortals, we need to be focusing down these Immortals. The Zealots aren't that hard to deal with. And, oh, looks like I'm going to... Where, where are my Zerglings going? We need to get the Zerglings on the Immortals. And I'm going to get sort of a surround on it. Oh, are they going to take out that Immortal? He's trying to get away. Oh, no, they're going to not focus it down. But we are getting some more of these other Immortals down. Oh, and Spartan has completely lost his base. And now we just got more Zerglings streaming in because... GTG soon is just on it's on three bases right now and that is not a good position when I, I I guess I'm on two but I'm just I'm completely behind in tech right now terrible macro I just I we, we just the, the rush just didn't work and I never really got myself in gear and, and it could cost us this game we did fend this off but Spartans in big trouble right now I lost expansion no way he's taking that anytime soon and he's got to rebuild the Nexus somewhere so he is going to rebuild that Nexus, but is not looking good right now. We did not do hardly any damage, and now we've got Adam's Curie taking an expansion of his own. And wow, throwing down a lot of pylons here for Snake. That's a lot of pylons for one expansion. Unless he's going to be doing something uh, kind of annoying. And i got to tell you, he is about to do something very annoying. So we are not in a good position right now. I'm throwing up a macro hatch because I fear I just do not have enough larva, especially with all the links I'm apparently pumping out right now. Evo chamber, eh, it's just for some upgrades. That's not a big deal right now. Did I forget my speed? I did. Oh, I'm researching speed right now. So yeah, I am just way behind right now. And we check the income. I, I can only imagine. Well, actually, I did manage to macro up some harvesters. Currently now, uh, first place in my... Oh, nope, sorry, that's that's uh, it's Contrarian. He's got a ton right now of, of workers. And he's moving out with his Void Rays. Looks like he might be able to spot this expansion that is not quite finished. And where are these, where are these links headed? I guess they're going to go defend this expansion because... Oh, yes, because Snake's like, I'm just going to throw down a ton of Photon Cannons. Yeah, that seems like fun. Oh, Contrarian going to be expanding again, taking this base. And these lings look like they're they're scouting for expansions. Yeah, and the Void Rays are going to fly right past those, so I do see those and realize that we have some lings on the map, but it looks like this expansion for Adam Security is going to go down to the Void Ray op -edness. We got some Mutalisks out now for GTG soon, who's just macroing like a boss. I mean, he's got queens on... Well, he's got a little bit of energy on that queen. Oh, he's got a lot of energy on that queen. And unless those were queens that he built early and just transferred them there. But yeah, he may not be hitting his injects just right. Not entirely sure. And these lings are moving out. We got any upgrades on those? Two armor on those lings. What are my lings doing? My lings are doing squat. I do see two evil chambers. Oh, I almost got to get the uh, plus one armor. Oh, and they are going to see this expansion, and there's not enough here from Contrarian to defend this. Three stalkers are not going to save this expansion, unfortunately. He might be best off just to cancel this right now, unless he thinks he can get something here. But now we got some Mulus here for GTG soon with plus one attack. No anti air whatsoever right now. I, I'm trying to throw down some spores, but instead they're going to go to Contrarian's expansion. Completely destroy that probe lead that he that nice little probe lead that he had right there. Miro's Void Rays are trying to save this expansion. What it really needs to be saving is our bases over here because these Mulus are going uncontested. Oh, they're going to take out my queen. And look, we got no Photon Cannons, just no ex no anti air whatsoever. Just some Stalkers and Void Rays, I guess. Oh, that's that Void Ray is going to get killed off. So yeah, it's 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 starting to look pretty bleak right now. 
That's a lot. That's a lot of void rays, though. But they're on the wrong side of the map when that attack hit. And seriously, seriously, Se seriously. I mean, seriously. We are currently at. Why do I keep losing my selection? We are currently. Why do I keep losing my selection? Anyhow, we got about 17 photon cannons at least, and oh, I've actually sent my links blindly over to this expansion. I wanted to see if there's anything here, and yeah, there was a, a frick ton of photon cannons, so I'm just going to pull that out of that one right away. Oh, and now we got GTG soon expanding again. I mean, this guy is insane. This guy is obviously our biggest threat right now. But I don't think he's getting hydralisks out. I don't know why he's getting hydralisks out. Two two upgrades on him though, but hydralisks do not seem to be really a worthwhile unit to get right now. But fortunately, he does not seem to have too many of them. Oh, and these mules are causing more problems. But I think this might be enough to fend them off. Yeah, we did. We did manage to force those out. But I, I just don't know. And we check lo units lost right now. Contrarians hurting badly. Spartans hurting badly. I'm not hurting that badly just because I'm just not performing this this game. And what am I even up to right now? Oh, uh, looks like I am. Yeah, I'm going to be getting some infestors because I figure it's too late to get Mutas up. He's got so many already. And the way he's macroing, there's no way I'd be able to keep up. So Infestors, if I can catch his Mutalisks off guard, Infestors could do some great things. And wow, we don't even have any Observers right now, because we got an Observer just parked over our main army. Or one of our main armies. I don't... That's not an army. That's just a bunch of... That's just a bunch of craplings. Oh, no, they do have a... They do have a, uh, some armor there, so they're slightly more improved craplings. They do have the Infestors out now. They do have a Fungal in the chamber. Where did those Milos go? And whoa, look at all these. Why did he get Phoenix? I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what the idea was with going Phoenix. This guy's basically going Phoenix Immortal. I even got the plus one. It, 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 unless he was expecting me to respond with Mutalisks. Or maybe he thought those would, or those would work well against the Void Rays. Not sh entirely sure that they do. We'll have to get the scientists on that one and see what they, we'll see what they think. But you know, if I can if I can get some good fungals off, trap all these air units. But oh wow, that's a lot of sentries. So we got a, some scary forces building up. My zerglings are out again to uh, probably do very little. Yeah, GTG soon just got some ridiculous macro going on right now. And oh, they did. I guess they did find some void rays there for contrarian. It looks like they cleaned them up handily. Didn't even see what happened over there, but I don't see much that was damaged over here, so they are just gone. Oh, that's right. Contrarian was going to go harass this base until we realized that he just completely ringed them with photon cannons. Which is now up to 23 photon cannons right now. And it looks like they're getting ready for the final push. I really don't think we've got the force to take care of that. Oh, these stalkers are going to get caught out of position and completely decimated. But it looks like the last stand is coming. Oh, bring these zealots back. We need everybody in here that we can get. Oh, no. And I'm get, trying to get my, my infestors into position right now. And there's a lot of clumping up right here. Can I get off the fungals I needed? Oh, I do get a fungals on almost all of the phoenixes. But GTG soon just managed to get his mules out there. He saw them coming. And now I'm just like, well, I'm just throwing fungals down wherever I can get them. But... GTG soon just completely macroed or just completely microed away from my investor. He now he sees those investors. He just this Zerg is just he is just something else. And I just try to just blanket fungals as, as best I could because I could not get any good hits on other than that first hit on those phoenixes, which now nah, phoenixes are still alive. But it looks like this is going to be the end. I'm going to throw in some zerglings in there, but that's probably not going to be enough. And, and to add insult to injury, he is actually going to waste energy gravitoning my zerglings. Oh, awful. So Contrarian's out of the game. There come the GGs, so can't win them all. 
our, our early rush just put I think just put us way behind. I don't put me way behind. Maybe if I had gotten my macro going again quicker after the the rush failed, maybe we'd have held on better. I don't know, but I hope you enjoy this game and have a day.